Well guys, this is Adlevik here and uh, the father in last cabin is just over there and Southbrook is on up there where we uh, do some ice fishing and you're on this hit down here, I just set a wolf trap down there, there's some wolves hanging around the area. This is from a ring seal and uh, as you can see there's just water down below there and uh, they get humped up there a little bit and he'll stick his whole nose up and that's where he'll breed and he'll have so many uh, holes like this around in the area and uh, just spent these winter up. I don't know, he's gonna hold a hole, he'll feed and stuff. And they run, and get some more snow to make it a little, little place to have your young and stuff. But, uh, ring seal is uh, especially adapted for this. Not all seals can actually live up under the ice like this. Uh, carp seals come in the fall of the year before it freeze up. And when it freezes up, if you don't get at the bay in time, he'll just stay in the last little hole of water until he catches over. So get up on the ice, the hole will freeze over. And then there's a crown looking for open water. They, they can't keep, they can't live under the ice like these uh, ring seals. These are especially adapted for this, and they even could uh, scratch their way up through the ice with their claws, you know? So uh, that's one unique thing about a ring seal. And uh, I can see like little ice is bulged up here and on down there and over it here. That's probably some of these other holes. And when, once you get snow down on the ice, these are very hard to find. You would never know they're doing it. It'd be pretty cool if you could see and actually come up there now, but. But anyway, uh, I just thought I'd show that because uh, I find stuff that interesting. <laughs> if you were going to do like a traditional seal hunt, you would find as many of his holes as you can and stick a hunter to each hole. And as the seal goes around, you'll eventually come to a hole where a hunter's waiting for him. And you'll harvest them that way. So, so anyway, uh, I might mark this spot and uh, when we comes back, I might try for this one. sometimes push the seal down and after it's been toyed, we'll just take the seal away and lose them. So it's much better actually to harvest them traditionally in, in these kind of places. So, so anyway, I just thought I'd uh, share that. We're going to head over to the cabin. Now this evening and uh, go and get a warm coffee. <laughs> 